You can see in the uh, surface plate here that uh, I've been using this uh, batch of bluing here for, I don't know, maybe a half a dozen cycles at this point, but as you take bluing off when you spot, you get better and better results and you can actually see, you can start to see the high points and the low points in the actual surface plate as well. One of the things with the top of the table getting close that I wanted to do was check um, this is the back side and um, I threw it up on the surface plate and you can see down here at this end and then down at the other end that's the only points of contact that were on that face nothing in between um, so one of the things I want to do without uh, getting into any kind of scraping or anything yet is just kind of understand I'll put this uh, face down again but up on some uh, blocks and then I'll, I'll run a, an indicator along the bottom of this and understand this and then the other thing I want to check is um, this back side here the side closest to the column is the guiding way side which is the which is the solid solid way on the on the saddle and then the other side the front side is the gibbed side so I want to understand the geometry of this uh, fixed side so down at the at either end where the bluing was showing up the, the uh, Indicator zeroing out and then down here towards the center of the table it's about two thou of a bow in it so the next thing I'm going to check is um, I'm going to check the um, top way so I've just got a ground dowel in there, that's a 5.8, I think it's 5.8 dowel, and I'm just picking up the top of that dowel sitting in the dovetail there. So that's on this end, that's a zero. And then we'll go down to the other end. I don't want to check it in the middle because the the way is worn. There's about four or five thou wear down in the middle so I want to check either end where there's no wear on the way to see what the dovetail looks like at either end to make sure that the two ends are at least parallel to the back side of the table. Let's see what we get down here. It's about two and a half thou high. One and a half there. Half a thou there. It could just be that this here, as um, the more metal that's on this surface here, would push the dowel up, up against that dovetail. That's one and a half there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check parallel, how parallel the front and the back of the table are.
that's a zero there. So it's zero here at this end, so that's the two ends are good. Problem is this center here on this side is high. So that means the whole the whole table has a bow in it that way. Next thing I wanted to check was the center T-slot and it's banged up pretty good. Um, my thoughts were I just got a half inch high speed steel bit here just to kind of average out whatever's going on on that T-slot or yeah on the T-slot so I'm just going to come down here pick up the center um, this height here on this one and then go down and do the same thing on the other end. And then I'll have to look at the center and see what it looks like. I haven't done a lot of work yet on that T-slot. I was working on the back side, which would be this one here, but not this center one yet. Although it looks it's zero, 0 Both of them showed a little bit of a tip, the way the tool bit's sitting in there. I'm going to try and check it in the middle now. saying it's five thou low. And there's definitely something going on with that. So this is just some of the findings kind of on paper so I can go back to them with the bottom side facing in this case the camera the back of the table was on the bottom and the front of the table was on the top the ends are zero 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 meaning when I measure the bottom across the table I'm zero zero when I measure at the top across the table I'm zero zero but in the middle on the bottom I'm a negative two thou and on the top I'm a plus thou and a half ish so best I can tell exaggerated the table looks like that kind of ironic that looks like an unhappy face but and then the other thing I checked was the center the center T slot the front of the table facing the camera and from one side to the other lengthwise on the table zero zero 
and the same thing that plus two thou in the center so again that T slot exaggerated has that look to it so I've been getting a few comments on peening one of the one of the comments about peening was to you know take care of the front of the table or the top of the table get the bow out of the top of the table I chose to scrape it which uh, is looking pretty good now um, but I do need to I do need to consider um, what's going on here and see if there's an alternative way to try and get some of that out of the table before I scrape it because I'll be um, on the one side I'll be taking tooth out of the center on the other side I'll be taking tooth out off either side which I guess is only about five thousand scraping total um, but the bigger thing for me is if the if the guiding way has that bow in it uh, that's that's a bit more work to get that straightened out so I gotta do some research on uh, best options here